Hello YouTube, Mr. Bean here and welcome to part two of my SIBO tutorial and today we're going to be doing the mechanism box. So we're going to start off with this first piece here. Uh, might be a bit easier to understand if I take out this piece. There we go. So it's basically just um, two angular pieces with these two connectors attached to these axles we got a four stud axle back here two stud axle up front and these two connectors they're obviously uh, held on there by like their circular joint the one meant for pins uh, but basically you just put this connector in here put these up around it and then attach it together then we take this piece here, it's a 13 stud log axle. You place four pins here, alternating all the way across here. Well, I got a weird thing on my finger from these pieces, from pushing them together and stuff. And they alternate all the way until we get to here. You got four of them. So just count the spaces here. You can, you should probably pause it right here so you can count it and get it right. And then you basically just put that on there like these connectors here with the white uh, three stud pin there and just like put it on there and then leave it off to the side next you're gonna make this piece here do that so you want to make this here then you want to make two of these pieces pretty easy to make. Take this and put it through like that and make sure it's flush on the top or else it'll be the wrong way. And then put this on here. Now you take these pieces and you put, I believe, oh we're missing something. We need two 15 stud long beams and we're going to attach them here. Just like that. Can't help but feel like I'm missing something, but I'll figure it out. There's got to be something missing here. This doesn't even work. Okay, let me think here for a second. Oh, shoot. All right. Uh, I'll put an annotation on screen for people in the PC, and I will put a number in the description, a time to jump to when I figure this out. If you don't want to watch me struggle here and try and figure it out. But I know that this went like that. Oh, I figured it out here. I think I just do that. Yeah, that looks so much better. So that was actually really quick. So I don't think you're going to put the numbers in. Yeah, it's, that's how it's supposed to be. So... What I did is I just pushed these pins back up through there, and then I attached uh, this piece on here. I just got two seven stud axles, some bushings, and that's basically it. So put it back on. And for any of you that are watching this and haven't seen the comments section on my new video, uh, my next gun is going to be a PTRS-41. Hopefully I'm going to start uh, construction on it today. Uh, not today. I was just about said today. But this week, I mean. So. Okay, 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 okay. Next piece, next piece. We're going to make this guy right here. Just take one of these connectors and a four stud long axle. Do it twice. And then put it on here like this. And people watching this... Um, I'd assume you guys are competent enough to just like be able to build these briefly 
uh, with me just uh, showing pictures. I'm not trying to insult anyone that can't understand here, like if I go too quickly, but um, I'm just trying to make this really fast. So basically, you just take two of these, or if you don't have them, take a, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven stud long uh, beam and just attached on there. Doesn't make a difference, but this looks so much cooler. So you need one of these plates. I don't know if they have like a sizing or anything like that, because on the older plates, or just like uh, big like armor type pieces, uh, they had numbers to differentiate them. But basically. This one actually goes on this side. You just do that, and that, that looks pretty good actually. It looks weird, but it, that's how it's supposed to be. So the blue pin needs to be here at the back, and then we got this thing here. I'm not sure if it's used, but I think it might have like a breathing tube from like the underwater uh, series of bionicles. Just like a bunch of breathing tubes here that come out of it, I think, to give it a cool aesthetic. Now we're going to take some eyeball pieces. You don't have to put these on. You can just like cap them off with bushings, but or you can make the pieces smaller. But it doesn't matter which colors. You don't have to follow suit with me. You can do whatever you like, whatever is your favorite. And actually, if you build this, I want you to see, I want you to make a video. I want you to give credit because this design is a little bit different from the original. So I want you to give credit to me because these are my instructions. If you use these to build your gun, please credit me. And obviously credit at 1995 um, because he's the one that made the gun. So next up here, this is going to be the trickier part. You need to take two pieces of string and put them through here. It's extremely difficult to get this pin in when you've got these two pieces of string in. Very difficult, and this is waxed as well. It's a lot more like moldable, malleable, whatever. And basically you just make in a loop here like that with this little guy on it. And basically what you're gonna do, you take this freaking piece off. You're gonna take it and wrap it around and this has to be very specific so it should look like this this pin should be facing downwards and what you're gonna do is just put it on and it's basically stuck there now so now I feel like it'll be easier once I get this piece on actually Take a seven stud long axle, a bushing, and two of these connectors here, and just put them on like this. Put it through the string, and attach it like this. And there you go. Now you can do the mechanism box. So this is pretty much it. Got this piece here, which helps keep it all together, because this is like wobbly. This will fix it. You need two of these, or pretty much anything. Uh, these pieces here aren't necessary at all. None of this is, because it basically just attaches onto here like this. And as you can see, it keeps it solid. So here's the mechanism box as well as the magazine. These are the, f the t first two parts of the tutorial. Didn't miss anything, so that's good. But anyways, that's uh, the end of part two. Uh, like to see you guys back in the next part. Goodbye.